Hello everyone, I am of course John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, for another edition of the da -da -da Ghost Letters Report. Today we're going to be talking about the recently Abe appointed Trade Minister Yochi Miyazawa, I believe I pronounced his name correctly, and the dirty business that he's of course involved in. Now get this, he owns stock in one of the major companies that's responsible for the cleanup effort at Fukushima. Now he would benefit massively from this and what makes it even worse is that he's the one that's going to oversee the cleanup efforts. That's right, the trade ministry is responsible for nuclear power in Japan. All of it. Safety regulations, uh, Fukushima, all that. So what we got here, you know, the guy who is heavily involved in the nuclear industry will benefit massively from it is also the guy that's going to be overseeing the cleanup effort while he holds stock in one of the major companies that's cleaning up. Disaster. Now, we do not need to even mention all the problems that's been going on with the cleanup effort out there. The Yakuza involvement, the massive exploitation and abuse of workers, um, you know, unionized workers being bullied, intimidated, and sometimes disappearing. The lack of any... Um, solid structured effort, lax regulations, all kinds of crazy shit going on. And it's the guy involved in all that, financially. It just, it doesn't boggle, boggle my mind too much considering the high amount of corruption and the collusion that goes on in Japan between private businesses and the government, which as we all know, is a hallmark of fascism. Because fascism as an economic structure is typically defined as a merger between private business and government, working hand in hand, side by side, in a circle for mutual benefit. Basically, private business literally becomes the government. And we're seeing this. This guy comes from the industry that the trade ministry overseas. And he's the head guy. Oh, Christ almighty. You know, it just shows, you know, just how far right-winged the Abe administration is going and how much they're willing to blatantly appoint people like this. Now, has there been any response by the Abe administration following this revelation? No, they've been very tight-lipped about it. Because they got several scandals going on right now, political scandals. Everything from... Uh, top ministers being associated with uh, neo-right-wing fascist racist groups to some minor uh, uh, election fraud finance problems. So they're under fire right now pretty heavily. And this is the one scandal I did want to point out and talk about. But it just highlights the, the difficulties in dealing with the Fukushima disaster. When you have stuff like this going on in the government. It shows how useless the government is so far. We're trying to effectively deal with it. It's all about trying to profit off of it. All about trying to get as much gain out of it as they can. Ah, capitalism. It doesn't help anything at all when you're dealing with nuclear disasters. Capitalism makes it worse through these type of actions. Does right, this guy need to go? Obviously. But they're replacing him with someone who, again, of course, be pro-nuclear and try to cover things up and try to benefit off of it. I don't see, as long as the far right wing is in power in Japan, I don't see any type of appointment to the trade ministry, someone who will look at this effectively and objectively and neutrally. It isn't going to happen. So I thought I would point this out and just show that, goddamn, Abe is not making the situation any better nor is the administration, nor is the government in general. So if you find this interesting, hey, leave some comments in the comment box below. Let me know what you think. Do you think there's a chance that the government can get its shit together and stop appointing people like this and making moves like this? Or do we need a radical change from the people to demand a more government's more sensitive to the situation? If you enjoyed this video, hey, Please subscribe. You get things like this and time and time 
I throw in some surprises. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, right here in Tokyo. Check it out.